Hello guys, girls, and I'm Binary Pals. Hope you're okay. It's Monday. I've just downed a massive coffee and I'm feeling ready to go. I am currently cleaning my absolute shit hole of kitchen. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. You can probably see the mess behind me as well. Hey! Oh god, look at them. Oh! Um, I was showing you my nails there, not my face, but you know, that's probably just as bad. It's Monday and the kids are going back to school. Um, that means that my house is trashed. Can you see all my recycling up there? Look, is that, is that, is that all my recycling? Yeah, I need to take that out. I'm doing the dishwasher. I've got a load of washing on already. Got about 49 loads of washing to do. Anybody else's kids, when they tidy their, tidy their bedroom, mysteriously, your washing basket is just full of all kinds of crap. So, yeah, um, I've got that to do. I've got posts to do, which I will show you what has sold. The weekend's been quite slow, I won't lie. It had started to pick up for me. It was doing pretty well. The weekend's been a little bit snail paced. Um, I've only got four things going on eBay for the weekend. I think I probably got about the same for Poshmark, maybe about four orders. And then Vintage's got a couple more. Um, but I'll share with you when I'm picking and packing and all that jazz. But right now, I am trying to create a little bit of a order in my life because all of a sudden there's silence. Listen. Isn't that wonderful? So yeah, I am doing the dishwasher. It's all glamorous here. And then I'll be cracking on with some work. I ain't even got a clue what time it is, I won't lie. Um, probably around about half nine, ten o'clock. And yeah, that that's... That's it. I just fancy turning the camera on and talking to you guys because I haven't done that for a while because obviously the kids have been off. So it's not, I don't, I don't vlog when the kids are off school. I need to figure something out because when, obviously over the summer, I'm going to have to, like I say, figure something out. Um, but yeah, it's just, they're so noisy, man. They're just so noisy. I really need to clear my windows. I bet you can't even see out of them. They're that dirty. Anyway. I'm going to get cracking and then I will check back in when I start work. Say hi. Are you purring? Are you purring? Oh, oh, do you, oh, I'll give you some privacy, shall I? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to pick parcels sorry if you're a bit wobbly i actually haven't got any space to put the tripod down so i'm just holding it um look at the state of all this oh, i ran out of plastic tubs they all got full or broke and they're a little spenny to buy new ones why am i so close oh my gosh um so i've been using my hello fresh boxes <laughs> You, they don't fit a huge amount in, but, you know, waste not, want not. They're decent boxes, but it just means that I have to use a lot more of them. Um, so they're just everywhere, and they're not as easy to lug around. But, and they also only fit like half the amount in. But, anyway, I am going to pick parcels now. Usually, I would put a time lapse on, but I'm ill-prepared. And I haven't, you, like when I do a time lapse, I write where everything is on a piece of paper so I don't have to look at my phone. I have not done that this morning. Um, so no time lapse for you. I think you'll survive though. I think you'll cope without a time lapse. That riveting content. Oh, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. I'll come back to you when I've picked everything and I'll show you what I'm posting out. Okay, I've picked everything um so if you can spare a whole three minutes i'll show you what's sold no it's not that bad actually now that i've got all of it together it's not actually that bad um there was a cat up there as you can tell by the divot in the blankie but i got the hoover out because i'm sat on the floor 
and I didn't want to get hair on anything. And uh, she panicked and ran. <laughs> so I'll show you shoes first. I got three pairs of shoes going out. First is these Hush trainers. Um, they're in a size five, I think. I did buy these for me, but no, oh, no, they're not in a size five. What size are they? Seven. They're in a size seven. I hope I have listed those correctly. I might need to go and check that actually. Because I thought I had those listed as a size five. Now I'm doubting myself. Anyway, they've sold on Vinted for £25. I got them from Thrift Plus. My latest, they're in my latest Thrift Plus haul, which I think is probably the video before this. I'll link it somewhere on the screen. It'll pop up on one of those little things. Um, but yeah, they cost me around the £4 mark and they've gone on Vinted for £25. Uh, they had a lot of interest. A uh, pair of campers. These have been sat around for ages. I will spruce them up a bit before I post them off. It's because they've been in a drawer. Um, they're only a size two. I didn't realise that when I picked them up. I just got really excited because they were camper and I've never had camper before. Is it going to show you? There we go. Um, but yeah, they're in a size two. So obviously there is there are some women that are a size two and they're probably really good for like young teen girls. But um, they took a while to sell. I think they've gone for £20 on eBay. But yeah, they'll be on the screen anyway. And then I've got these which are gorgeous and I nearly kept for myself. These are whistles. They do have a slight bit of damage, but I did disclose that. Um, the toes are just like a little scuffed. These were also on my Thrift, Hus Thrift Plus haul. I got them at the same time as I did the Hush. They have like really nice buckle straps. Oh no, no, they're not whistles, sorry. They're caramelin. Um, they're in a size four. And they've gone for 15, I think, because of the scuffing. They are leather and I would have, I would like them to go for a bit more, but they've gone on vintage, so obviously fee free. Uh, we'll jump into some clothing next. Oh, that's pretty much all I've got left. Actually, no, I might as well show you this. Um, it's got clothing in it at the minute because I carried them down from the loft in it. Um, this big wickery straw bag from Next. Um, it's a nice bag to be fair, but nobody wanted it. <laughs> it's gone on vintage for a tenner. Um, but at least it's gone. I can't even remember how much I paid for that because it's been that long. But probably, I would think probably around about three pounds. But yeah, it's it's finally gone. So, and then next up is this Kim & Co. This has gone really, really quickly. Um, I will leave a picture on the screen. Uh, it's a brand new tags. I think it's in a size large or extra large. And I paid around the four pounds mark, I think. I can't be 100% sure, but I think I paid about £4 for it. And it's been listed less than a week. And that went on, where did you go? Where did you go? Did you go on eBay? I think it went on eBay, but now that like I've got several platforms, it's I get confused. I can't keep track on where it goes. Um, this is gorgeous. This is a lilac jumper by Fat Face. Absolutely beautiful. It's got on Vinted think it's gone for about 17 pounds something around that it's took a while to sell um but it listed for a few months but i'm happy that it's gone and then next we've got this that went very very quickly i'm not gonna mm, mm, i'm not gonna unravel it all because i want to keep it nice and folded um it's joe browns i'll leave it on the screen it's plus size size 26 or 28 um and that's gone on ebay yes ebay i sent an offer out of 20 pounds and it cost me three pound 50 so i'm happy with that uh this is i've had for ages it's a men's bright yellow nike long sleeve top um i paid six pounds for it because i really like yellow i don't wear yellow but i just really like yellow um, but I don't know anything about Nike. I don't know anything about menswear. I just picked it up because it was yellow. It's gone on Poshmark for £22, so I'm really happy with that. Then we've got this mage top, also a Thrift Plus buy. Um, it's like got glitter around the, the V, like its uh, neckline. It's in like a blush pink nude. That has gone on Vinted. 
and then we've got this uh, this is also a Poshmark this has only gone for seven pounds but i've had it hanging around for a while so i'm happy that it's gone this is a phase eight like you know the really drapey double layered like bat wing t-shirts it's one of those and that went on posh and then this also went on posh um it's i'm not gonna be able to show you i'll have to show you on a picture um it's like a hand crocheted halter neck top perfect for festivals perfect for over a bikini i'm absolutely in love with these i think they're so nice that's gone in a bundle with a tiger's eye necklace which i haven't actually picked yet i forgot it's just a little tumble tiger's eye crystal necklace um and i think that is everything i don't think there was anything else what have i got one two three yeah three for poshmark i don't know how many for vintage and four for ebay that seems about right I don't think I've got any going on Depop at, over, from over the weekend. Depop I've been trying to list on, but it just doesn't really... For the time it takes, it's just not really... It doesn't really move. Um, so I've kind of been half assed with it. I've been kind of trying, but not. Um, any spare time that I have, I'm really trying to put into Poshmark. Because it's actually it's taken off quite well for me it's not don't get me wrong it's not amazing and it's not quite rivaling ebay well i don't know actually because ebay has been absolutely dire for me so if ebay has also been absolutely dire for you it might be worth trying different avenues um i'm really enjoying poshmark you do have to put in the effort it's not just a list and leave kind of platform. Um, there is the whole sharing aspect. I do have a video if you're unsure on how to use Poshmark. I do have like a beginner's guide video to Poshmark that I filmed a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'll leave that da link down below in the description if you want to take a little look at it. I know it's not for everybody, but if you are wanting like a proper basic guide to Poshmark, which I kind of wish i had used myself when i started um just to speed up the process i was part of the beta program so we had a lot of time to get used to it but obviously now that it's in full swing it probably be i thought it'd be really useful for people so that's why i did it um i'll also leave a referral code down there as well um if you use my referral code when you sign up you get five pound free credit and i get five pounds credit once you've spent your credit if that makes sense um but then when you sign up you actually get your own referral code so you can send it to whoever you want try and encourage them to sign up you know get your own credit and so forth <laughs> um i have got i haven't told anybody about this yet but i have got a live show scheduled for poshmark i was really really nervous and i've put it off and put it off and put it off but there's been some absolutely amazing people host live shows so far and they've been so fun to watch that I got FOMO and I wanted to join in. Um, they are only open to Posh Ambassadors at the minute. But if you want to join in and you want to, you don't have to like buy anything from me. But if you want to watch and you just want to, I'm roping Chris into it as well. Like he's helping me out. I've already told him he needs to help me out and give me a little bit of emotional support. So if you want to join in, um, that'll be on the 15th, Tuesday, no, Thursday, the 15th of June. Um, so in around about two weeks, a week and a half, um, I need to get some stock for it. I want to do brand new stock and I want to do, everything is going to be a £5 starting bid. If I could start it less, I would, but the lowest starting bid is £5. Um, I don't mean brand new, like it's not all brand new with tags. Um, it's all going to be like new stock that I haven't had listed anywhere else. So it's going to be like first look kind of live. Um, you don't have to buy anything or bid on anything. But if you want to just come in and give me a little bit of moral support, I would really appreciate it because I won't lie. I am shitting myself. I am really, really nervous. I don't do lives. Talking to a camera, absolutely fine absolutely fine actually doing it live it's a whole different ball game but there have been some absolutely amazing people do it so far and they've been so fun so i 
grabbed the bull by the horns and thought, screw it, I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, if you want to come and join me, again, if you've not signed up to Poshmark and you want to come and join me, grab yourself a fiver, use my referral code, and you can join in with the bidding. Grab yourself a submit for free, just pay postage. Um, but yeah, that's enough. Enough of me uh, bigging myself up, advertising myself. Um, I'm going to carry on with my work. I'm going to get all of this packed, labelled, ready to go. Um, and then I'm going to probably get some listing done. Um, I think I need to photograph first. I haven't got anything photographed, I don't think. So I'm going to photograph. I got some stuff cross-listed this morning. But I need to get some photographs done. I think I've got a full rail-ish of stuff ready to go. I will share with you some of that, like some of the stuff I'm photographing later as well, because I didn't have time to do a whole video on some of that stuff. So I will share it with you as as I'm getting on with it. It's Tuesday. Yesterday didn't really go as planned. Um, I started to feel really unwell. So I actually spent the afternoon in bed. I still don't feel marvellous. As you can probably tell by my dishevelled exper experience. Appearance um, and lack of makeup and crusty voice. Um, it's just, it's time of the month and it gets me like it hits me quite bad um but i'm just so tired i just want to sleep which if you are new to the channel then you won't know but i have a condition called iih um idiopathic intracranial hypertension which is basically just too much fluid um around my brain and my eyes hence the vision loss um but one of the side effects which i don't really discuss it's all i discuss like my sight loss quite a lot because obviously it affects my life all the time but one of the side effects that i don't discuss which also affects my daily life is the fatigue like the headaches are quite serious but i'm on medication to help that um but the fatigue there ain't no medication that helps that um I am exhausted all the time, so when time of the month hits, it's um, it's a whole different ball game. Like I sleep solidly all night for like eight plus hours, and then there's just a couple of days in a month where I am just wiped out. And to be fair, I've been working really, really hard. Like I've really upped my working schedule, and I think I may have overdone it a little bit. So I did my post yesterday. And that was it. And then in the evening, after I'd like spent pretty much all day in bed, I had a little bit of um, energy again. <laughs> um, so I finished off, almost finished off an order ready to go to Hetty and Flo, um, which is Claire's shop in Hindley. Um, she is a stockist, my only stockist. Um, of my jewellery that I make so she is running out and I've been very very slow with the uh, Poshmark obviously being new and me putting all my energy into that um I've really fallen behind with my jewellery so I've been really slow at getting that out so I made sure yesterday evening that I got all of that like labelled up priced up and stuff ready to go so i think i've got a handful of more a handful of pieces sorry that need just like putting on their like display cards and stuff so and then i'm trying fingers crossed that will go out this afternoon so i've got to do that today i've got a couple more parcels to do today and i really need to get some stuff listed on ebay i have got lots of stuff on my rail that need to get done so I might show you some of that in a minute because I said I was going to do it yesterday and uh, I didn't. My nails still look like this. But, you know, it's real life. Um, we woke up well late this morning as well. Like We were nearly late for school, I won't lie. But we made it. We made it on time. And they looked somewhat 
put together more than me anyway like i think that's just i've still got my coat on um i think that's just normal for everybody i'm gonna i'm gonna stop filming at, like because i feel like i am just my thoughts are just coming out of my mouth and nobody needs to hear it so i will turn the camera back on when i'm actually doing something worth filming i just did a bit of an impromptu live on instagram prepping for my poshmark live i wasn't as nervous this time as i was last time which is good i think it's because i didn't plan it i just kind of went doing it i i'm an overthinker so if i think too much about doing it then i get really bad anxiety but i just did it and it went okay and actually a few people joined i didn't expect it because it's like i started it at like half 10 in the morning without telling anybody because i don't tell anybody when i'm gonna go live on instagram because i'm too chicken and i don't actually want anyone to join it's just like a practice um but yeah i just shared the stuff that's on and i always get it mixed up there on that um so my instagram's linked below i've saved the video to my grid if you want to see what's on the rail go and watch it because i haven't really got time to do it again um i will show you a few pieces though as i am photographing it but it is excuse me that was a really weird sounding bird outside it is now 11 and i really need to crack on um i've got coffee number two to try and uh give me a little bit of energy or at least fake energy but yeah i'm now gonna get on with it i need to steam it first so i have my trusty little guy this little dude i love this steamer the only one thing i'll say oh it's already got some water in look at that the only downside to this steamer is how little that water tank is but other than that it's really good it's a really powerful little steamer and it's not too heavy which i love because especially this side now the side that i use a steamer on the one that's got the cup in it because that's where my vp shunt goes down like down that side of my chest and my shoulder it's quite weak um so it gets sore really easily and that's the side that i use my steam oh i need to clean that i need to clean that um that's the side that i use my steamer in so yeah i uh it's nice that it's light i'm waffling i'm really procrastinating this morning hence the going live to share that i just i can't be bothered and i've got so much to do i just need to get on with it i need to get on with it i'm just kind of getting a little overwhelmed but i'll share some stuff with you anyway i'm going to steam it first if you want to watch like i said if you want to look at all of the stuff that's there go and watch the video on instagram but i'll share a few interesting bits not that it's hugely interesting i am not gonna lie but there's like it's mainly it's all just bread and butter really because i don't find anything other but yeah i'm gonna steam some stuff photograph some stuff list some stuff just a standard day and then i'm gonna go and get that jewelry parcel ready to go pick up my kids from school post anything that needs posting and that's it that would be my day but look at i'm gonna clean this before go and put a little bit of white vinegar on that we live in a hard water area and it's a bit gross nearly as gross as my nails but yeah i'm gonna get on with some work okay a little annoying my first item that i've just photographed and this well gone to list it's got a hole in the back is really irritating. Okay, so after that little fail, I don't have another pair. A different size, I think, though. I'm not sure on the size of these ones, actually. I'll have to dig deeper. But I'm still listing those ones with a hole. I'm going to list them for a tenner. Because somebody can definitely stitch that up. Just not me. Because even when I could see properly, I 
I've always been awful at sewing. Like, it's just not my, it's not my forte, if that's the right word to use. So yeah, these are the next ones that I'm gonna photograph. I've got a bunch of trousers at the minute. I'm going through trousers. And actually, I wanna show you this one quickly. Look how KU that is. I thought it was vintage because it's got a tiny, tiny little tag in it that says made in the USA. And I was like, oh, not many things are made in the USA anymore. Uh, it's just American apparel, so it's not. But, oh my gosh, it was £3.50. And I am in love with it. It's so cute. So yeah, I'm just getting, working my way through those because I'm just hanging them up there. I'm really bad at pointing at things on camera. Um, they're being hung up there. <laughs> um, and yes yeah, i try and do them it's easier to do them that way like rather than move from mannequin to wall to mannequin to wall i kind of do it in like batches so everything that needs to be hung up at the minute i'm doing so it's mainly just anything that's either too small for the mannequin too big for the mannequin um i do use whoa look at that my hand looked massive then um i do use these pegs um to if things are a bit big for the mannequin, I'll clip it on the back, like I'll cinch it in and like peg the fabric. But obviously if it's like so many sizes, my mannequin's a size 10, which is quite a skinny 10 though. She's a skinny 10 with a big bust. Um, so yeah, if it's, if it's anything like an 18 or above, I don't put it on the mannequin because I don't think it represents the size of it very well. And I think it's just, I don't know. It, it makes it look a bit false, you know? So I don't do that unless it's a, only a little bit big. So yeah, I hang up. And anything that just looks really crap on the mannequin as well, because some things just look really bad on the mannequin. You know, something's like bodycon and like really stretchy. It'll fit to the mannequin really, 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 really well. And then it will drop off the end of the mannequin and go, and it looks really stupid. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, so I'll hang that up. So I'm just doing hanger photos now. I've got, at the minute, about 11 items for hanger photos. But then I've also got, you can probably see behind me, these maxi dresses. They are also hanger photos, but they haven't been steamed yet. So I think I'm going to deal with those as well. That sneak peek, that gingham one, I think is going to go in my Poshmark auction. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I won't tell you the size or the brand because you can wait. Um, I am, like I said yesterday, I am doing things that have not been listed before, um, or like never seen before stock, um, and I'm not going to show anybody what it is until then. Whether that's a good idea, I don't know, but it's my first time doing it, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm just going to crack on with that. I've got, not that you can see, because the screen is now going into screensaver mode because I waffled, uh, daily refinement talking away in the background. I just find it a little bit motivating to have some sort of work related YouTube video on. Um, I try and go for ones that I don't need to actually watch because I find it a little off putting. I like to just listen to them. Um, so I either go for podcasts, audiobooks, or something that I can just listen to. Um, otherwise, I get really put off and I actually want to sit and watch it. Um, however, I do find that now, since my vision has deteriorated, that um, I actually find that I listen to TV more than I watch it now. I also have audio description on Netflix, so I just don't really physically like watch the TV as much anymore. Um, I will just listen to it. My nose is really itchy, I do apologise, it probably looks really gross, but you know, nose is itch, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to shut up, I'm going to shut up and just get on with my work, I'm just going to get on with it. I'm cooking some chicken for my lunch and it looks well good, I'm not going to lie. So I've got, you'll have to excuse the sizzling, um, I've got five listed and, well drafted and photographed so far. It's now about half past twelve so I'm going to have some lunch. I am frying up some chicken, I'll use probably about a third of that, maybe a bit less. And I've got it a little like mini tortilla and I'll have it with some salad and some mayonnaise. That's exciting, I know. Um, and then I'll get back to work. There you go. Just, keep, just keeping you updated. So it's uh, slow going so far, but I'm well hungry. So I just needed to stop for lunch and then I will get 
back to it. Okay, it's two o'clock. I have, a, my hair is mad. I've got 11 items done. I'm just waiting for photos to be added, which I will do like later on. Um, I'll do them all together later on. I just need to edit them. I brighten them just a little bit because um, my lights aren't very good. So, I mean, they're all right, but they're just soft box lights, you know? Um, so I will do my photos later on. I have about an hour left until I need to go pick the kids up from school. I'll eat my lunch. It was beautiful. Um, and yeah, I've got about an hour left. So I'm going to carry on. Just keep going. Um, I've, that's all my hanger photos done for now. I haven't done those ones up there yet, actually. Hmm. Do I do those first? Yeah, change plan. I was just going to start doing some mannequin photos, but change plan. I'm going to do my hanger photos from up there, apart from that little dress. Say little, it's a maxi. Apart from that gorgeous maxi dress, because that will be on my Poshmark show. Uh, you're probably sick of me talking about Poshmark now, but I friggin' love it. Um, anyway, I'm going to do, there's quite a lot of nice vintage ones up there, so I will show you some of them, because I haven't showed them anywhere yet either. Um, I just don't have as much time at the minute for haul videos, because I'm trying so hard to get things listed, so I just haven't had as much time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll show you a few of those like as I'm photographing them, but they are going to be hung up as well because they're maxis. Um, that's why they're hung on the door because my rail is too short and I don't want them to touch the floor. Um, because they're maxi dresses, my mannequin's not quite long enough. And even if she, like when I can make her tall enough, I have to make the camera angle so wide that it just doesn't look clean and crisp. I get like loads of other bits and bobs in the photo. Whereas when it's just on the wall, it doesn't look quite as bad. So I just hang up my maxi dresses, unless it looks really awful and it needs to be put on a mannequin, but yeah. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, first up is this little handmade blue one. As you can see, it's extremely creased. So I need to get that one uh, steamed. This one is gorgeous, this like proper oriental one. Um, I need to do it up so you can see it properly really. Um, but yeah, it does up down the side and look at it. I can't, I'm too short, but it's, uh, let me stand back a bit. This is stunning. It goes, it's proper long and then it splits around knee length, both sides. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love that so much quite small just whacked myself in the face quite small though uh then we've got this nice magenta pink one with a belt that's quite cute um pleated as well hopefully you can see that um with lovely gold buttons that's by the brand opera by richards um the others are not branded then there's this bubblegum bubble gum pink one it's very pretty Again, these are all vintage, don't really do vintage, but this is a maxi as well. Um, this is really cute. It was from a vintage box of clothing that I've literally not even gonna lie, had for two years, um, because I had it before I went into hospital, so I had for over two years, but I just never dealt with it because I could never be bothered because I don't really like unbranded vintage stuff. I don't like listing it. I like looking at it, don't like listing it, stay. It's not going to stay it's going to fall stay there we go this is absolutely adorable i'm going to have to take it off the hanger to show you i am in love with this actually this one is going to have to be oh it's going to have to be a mannequin one i'm not going to be able to do this one just yet this is a halter neck maxi it's friggin gorgeous look at that i'm in love with this one i don't know what size it is very much too small for me yeah oh my god i'm going to sneeze just one just one sneeze anyway it's way too small for me but it is stunning i can't wait to get that one listed and then last one is not actually a vintage one at all it's a monsoon one and it's a decent size i think let me just let me just find it underneath all of these okay it's this really nice i'd say bandana print maybe but i might be wrong like paisley it's gorgeous really really nice red jersey with a 
tie back. I think it's in a decent size. It's in a size 18. It's still got its thingy me jiggy. But ow, I've just whacked myself again. No peripheral vision. Whack myself all the time. Um, but yeah, it's really, 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 really long. So I don't know whether she's actually gonna fit up there, but I'll give it a go. Right, I'm gonna get on with this because I'm procrastinating again. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot I was filming today. <laughs> um, so it's like evening. I'm still in my coat. <laughs> don't know why. Um, and I forgot I was filming. I got a total of, I don't know how many listings I got done today actually. I want to say about 14, about 14, we'll say around 14. Um, I'm now doing some jewellery making because I've got a few bits that I want to get done. Um, well, that I need to get done. Oh, hello. Hi. Um, these cute little, where are you? Oh, God, these nails. These cute little heart earrings. There we go. These are in green aventurine. I've got absolutely loads of different designs. I've got black obsidian. Very cute. And then I've got some sodalite. Very cute. So yeah, I've just sat here making those. Um, and that's it. That's it for the day. I'm going to sign off here because if I don't, then I'm going to forget. And then it's going to be a vlog rolled over three days. And <laughs> we don't need that. Um, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Help a girl out. And if I, just in case I haven't mentioned it enough in this video. Poshmark show. It's going to be on the 15th. So come and join me live on Poshmark. You don't have to buy anything. Like you don't have to bid on anything. Just come and join in the fun. Watch me make a fool out of myself. Um, yeah, and it'd just be really fun to have you there. I will leave my Poshmark referral link in the description if you haven't already joined and you want to get a free fiver. Um, if you have already joined, my wardrobe name is on screen now and yeah i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye everybody